Hello guys, I'm currently waiting for my husband. He's getting some work done on his car, so I'm gonna pick him up. Well, you know, so he's not just having to sit here. He's talking and dropping his car off right now. I'm gonna go home, work out, and then I'm gonna hang out with the girls because he has a ton of homework to do, but I thought I'd just stop in and say hi. Um, and I will vlog when I can. I am off to the gym. Oh! Figured I would vlog on the way there since I'm going to the main gym instead of the one that's right next to my house. Because for my workout today, they don't have the e whoops, I gotta go that way. They don't have all the equipment I need. So I have to go to, to the main gym where I can't vlog there. So I'm going to vlog now. Um alright, so yeah, we just dropped off my husband's car and I came back. I had a mango. Just as like a before gym snack. And then um, I'm off to the gym. So today I'm doing back, shoulders, and chest. And then cardio and abs. And then tomorrow I'm just doing like butt workouts and ab workouts. So tomorrow's my light day. And then my rest day is going to be on Monday. I think. Yes, Monday. So I, it took me the three years we lived here that every time I go to the main gym, I'm taking the longest way there. I didn't realize we were basically around the corner from the gym. So like I would be leading our neighborhood, I would go to the other side of post and then loop back around. But with the house we live in, I can literally just go out the back end of our neighborhood, take a right, then a left, and then I'm there. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. I mean, same with going to the hospital. Um, you know, I would take the long way because, you know, when we lived in our other house, because we used to live off base, um, I, I went the way that I normally went because I didn't know that, you know, there was a back to our neighborhood or that the back of our neighborhood was like right on the road. So it would take me like, I'm like, oh, this is so much shorter because we're on base now. So it's like five or six minutes. Oh, that's so cool. But then my husband reminded me or informed me that like, well, you know, you could just go at the back of our of our housing development and then you'll literally like be at the hospital so I go out the back I take a left and a hundred feet down the road is the hospital <laughs> so I don't know I thought it was hilarious so did I pass where I need to go I really have, I've never like gone this direction shoot I really don't know now um Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, I'm going the correct direction. Yes. Anyways. So, I'm really excited to go to the gym. I'm going without my waist trainer today. Just because you always have to give your yourself a break. I You can't really wear it every... Well, you shouldn't wear it every day. You can do whatever you want. You're a human. But you shouldn't wear it every day. So, I'm probably going to take a break from it at the gym. Um, Just because I want to be able well I don't want to wear it when I'm working on my back because I really want to focus on developing the muscles of my back and this thing kind of like forces you to have good posture so I want to kind of force myself without it to have good posture so um when I'm doing my back workouts and abs I mean you physically can't do abs with it but when I'm doing my back workout today I'm not gonna be wearing it um Oh man, I really I was supposed to film yesterday, but it just didn't happen. Like I just mainly because uh, my husband he just couldn't um, watch the girls for me because he had some pressing work to do. So hopefully today, since he doesn't work tomorrow, hopefully today I can film tonight. Uh, film. I have a couple other. I need to film a makeup tutorial and two unbaggings. So hopefully I can get three videos done. Um. I need to start changing my outfits when I film multiple videos in one day. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of lazy when I don't. So, mm. oh my gosh, there's so many people here. Dang it. I was hoping there wouldn't be a ton of people here. I hate when people just like camp out on equipment. It is just the most irritating thing ever. Oh, they're leaving. Nice. Ha ha. Perfect timing. I don't have to wait for a spot. Alright, let's park next to the Equinox. Okay. Alright, so I am here at the gym. 
So I'm gonna go in, get my workout in, and I will talk to you guys after. <sighs> All done. That is good. I have to go home and do abs, but that was really, really good. I mean, it's a little aggravating though. I think I need to get some Bluetooth headphones because I'm so tired of like when I run. So I'm pretty good at not this not happening the first few minutes of my run. But then when I start getting tired, like I don't have as much control of my arms and then like wax my headphones. And normally like I'm like, oh, that's annoying. But this time when it did it, it caught on like the emergency stop thing. And it stopped my whole run. So it made me really mad because I like to actually keep track of like exactly how many calories I burned, how far I went and all that stuff. So I did restart my run, but I wasn't able to keep all my numbers all because of my stupid headphones. So I think since I've been sticking with this, I think it's time to get some Bluetooth headphones. I can get some for like 15 bucks off Amazon. So I think I'm gonna do that eventually, not right now, but you know, now I know that it's something that I would benefit from. Um, Oh man, gotta go home and do some abs and then I gotta eat some protein. I really want a mango though. I don't know, I've been craving mangoes. I can eat mangoes all day, literally, all day. Ugh, you guys, headbands or hats during the gym are lifesavers. Like normally, like I just have like sweat dripping down my face, but it's all stopped because of my headband. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point because I am I can never think straight after I work out. Like, I'm very, like, you know, discombobulated. Why is there rock climbing thing right there? Are they going to be doing, like, an event? Is that, what ha is that what's happening here? That'd be cool. Ugh. Alright, thought I'd just stop in and uh, update you guys. So, I'm going to go home and do some abs. Here is Julia's birthday cake made out of Play-Doh. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julia. Happy birthday to you. God blow. Yay! Okay. You did it! Woo! Okay. Oh, so I told you guys that there was a surprise Scandinavian package coming that, well, according to my email, there was. And there really was. Um, they didn't leave a note or anything. It just simply sent a little post thing saying available at skinnavy.com in February. So they're coming out with a new skin spray. This is the post makeup recovery spray. So basically you wash off your makeup and then you spray this and it helps clear out your pores and everything like that. They said the key ingredient in it is zinc. Um, let's see. The flawless facts, reset skin by replenishing pH, minerals, and vitamins depleted through long wear makeup using environmental factors. Timing optimizes skin barrier function to increase effectiveness and skin clearing results. So basically, before your pores close up after washing your face. Um, paraben free, hyperallergenic, and alcohol free, and it's cruelty free. And then it says, you know, their hero ingredient is zinc. It says research shows acne sufferers have low levels of zinc, have lower levels of zinc than those with clear skin, and that supplementing can reduce acne by 50%. Uh, zinc protects skin lipids and fibroblasts, the cells that make collagen, and reduces oil production and preventing clogged pores. Zinc kills acne-causing bacteria and doesn't develop a res resistance over time. So yeah, this is a after makeup recovery spray. That's cool. I'm really excited to try this out. I don't have acne though, so I don't know if I'll get a huge amount of benefits from it. But, um, you know, we'll see. Oh, I'm interested to try this out, and I'm glad they're coming out with new products. That's really cool. Hello. It's been a little bit. Um... Let's see what's going on right now. My husband went to go for a run. I give the girls a bath and I'm gonna put them in bed so I can clean up for the night. We clean up every night because you know, toddlers, blah, blah, blah. They're messy. So I'm gonna clean up for the night. I'm going to upload my vlog for the, I believe the 19th and the 20th, I wanna say. 19th, 20th or is it 20th and 21st? Okay, not sure. Um, anyway, it's a two-day vlog, so it's going up. Uh, I gotta get that up, though. Um, giving the girls. So they ate dinner. Since they had an early dinner, I'm giving them a snack right now. And then I can go in bed. They're watching, you know, 
our show for the night. Um, but yeah, oh, that little clip from earlier, it's not actually her birthday, it was her birthday two days ago. But, you know, when you're a toddler, it's your birthday every day. And I wanted to make her a little birthday cake out of Play-Doh. So, yeah, we had some fun with Play-Doh earlier. I don't know, it's been a just nice family day. Oh, so I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.